Well, I would say that the Czech Republic's vision for the EU 27 is uh, probably uh, um, uh, closest to uh, the first uh, of the Juncker's uh, White Book scenario. Uh, that means to, to have a carrying on, to, to have a continuation of the state which we have right now. But uh, some politicians in the Czech Republic underlined uh, the fact that the EU uh, should do perhaps less, but more, more efficiently, which is the forward uh, scenario. But definitely uh, the vision uh, is of the EU 27, so no more divisions, no more uh, exits from, from the EU that would be the Czech priority. Well, the, the enlargement has been always a priority of the Czech uh, EU uh, uh, policy, but I would say that the, it has a little bit toned down uh, in, in, in the past years. The, the, the Western Balkans integration and the Eastern partnership remain among, the, among uh, the, uh, the, EU, the Czech EU's foreign policy uh, priority. Well, the, 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 as for the priorities, the current government uh, singles out two issues. Uh, one is uh, the reform of the asylum and migration uh, uh, policy, which should be uh, done by you know, or in June uh, uh, this year, or the, at least the main decision should be uh, should be uh, uh, final uh, by uh, June this year, and then definitely the the future of the, of the EU budget next EU multi-annual financial framework because uh, that's perhaps the last chance for the Czech Republic to, to get uh, uh, huge funding from the EU sources and uh, that is really important for, for the Czech Republic right now. Uh, I think that the Czech Republic tries for, to avoid the debate on the institutional reform because uh, Look, the Czech Republic is a country which is not part of the Eurozone and it does not aspire to enter the club uh, any soon. And if there is uh, any institutional reform, it would mean the strengthening of uh, institutional strengthening of the, of, the, uh, of the Eurozone institutions, which is not the Czech Republic part of. And that would mean that kind of a, a second class membership for uh, the Czech Republic. So, Yes, there are some issues the Czech Republic is interested in, like uh, uh, strengthening of the role of the national parliaments, but uh, um, when it comes to huge institutional reform, that's not a, a Czech priority, because uh, it would be very risky for the Czech position in the EU. Yeah, well, the, the closest allies uh, of, the, of the Czech Republic in the EU are probably the Visegrad group countries, but also Germany. And Germany, of course, is the most important member state. Its role is going to, 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 to grow uh, with, the, with, the, with the whole Brexit thing, probably. Uh, but Germany also uh, tries to keep, for example, to, the door to the Eurozone as open as possible. It tries to, uh, um, uh, to, to connect uh, the, 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 the west of the EU and the east of the EU. Uh, so, so Germany is definitely uh, an important partner and it is also the, the major uh, trade partner of the Czech Republic. But as for kind of a bloc or lobby group, the V4 is definitely important, not only as, uh, as the four countries but also as, uh, uh, as uh, a basis for a broader coalition of the so-called new member states the member states of the Central and Eastern, uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, uh, yeah, well, if, if you look at the Czech Republic and, uh, and, and Ireland, uh, the country seems from the first side as uh, quite different. But I think that the, for the Czech Republic, as for Ireland, an important issue is the internal market. And, uh, and then to keep the internal market as free as possible, with as, as low barriers as, pos as possible. And it might be uh, um, something common for, for, the, for the Czech and the Irish EU.